Hello guys, my name is Chris Hossa, aka The Profile Guy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, this YouTube channel is all about coaching and mentoring, and I will be coaching and mentoring hair professionals on this channel. So if you're a hair professional looking to learn more about film, looking to learn more about fashion, want to win competition, become a big industry profile, this is the channel for you because I am the profile guy. Now, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a competition entry which I entered in 2023 and I won this award called Independent Stylist Award. Now, I'm a barber, so it's like a wild card entry to win this. For me, it was I was so ecstatic because there were some phenomenal hairdressers in this particular category. But I rocked up, shared my passion, my dreams, of, and, and all of that good stuff to um, win. I'm now going to share with you how you create a portfolio-based entry for a competition. And I'll be talking through this step by step so you can use some of these strategies in your next up and coming competition and it will help you to identify what the judges are looking for and hopefully gives you some clear strategy guidelines moving forward now let's get to it guys so here we go oh before i forget make sure you subscribe to this channel because i am going to be sharing with you some amazing gems from digitally profiling social media through to winning competition so make sure you subscribe and you hit that bell notification you know what to do so do it anyway so first slide first it's your power slide make sure that this slide opens up who you are what you do and it's very clear to the judges why you are doing what you do because you've explained that you are a session stylist working where in, in in music film and fashion and that's what i did with this particular slide i talked about the collaboration with different brands different magazines some of the celebrities i've worked on the shows i've worked on and the movies as well so it shows a well-rounded independent stylist and that's why i want to do whenever you do these types of competitions what you are trying to do is make sure you seem a well-rounded individual that has a holistic view of this industry so that's what i want to do with this slide and because this these sorts of competitions are based upon your own profile it's really important the work that you do before the competition is important to make sure you got one good imagery and to understand your story so my story is I was brought up in Hackney, a very rough part of London, and I had a dream to work in Harrods, to work in the West End. I thought was the creme de la creme of hair of the hair industry in terms of where to work in London. So I now work in Mayfair. Again, my clients are millionaires, all that good stuff. But when I started out, it was in Hackney, East London. And it was a rough part of the world. So I explained that story to the judges. And it's really important for you to look at how you can talk about your story. You have a story. You have a journey. You were first a zero. You became hero. Ex let the judges see that transition. And the thing that I used here is imagery and my own imagery, my hairstyles, that so you can see the design work, what I started out doing, and the fashion on the other side. So you can see a bridge, a, a transition from one part to another part of my life. And I'm now gonna tell what that beyond looks like. So in my achievements, I talk about my professional achievements, what awards I've won. So if you have awards, make sure you talk about the awards that you've won. Make sure you talk about the notable achievements. If you work with charity or with events, talk about it. Make sure people understand what you are about and use imagery. Make sure you're backing up everything with imagery. So the next slide is my work and my specialism. Specialism is really important. You can be a uh, jack of all trades. Trust me, it's not great. You want to be a master and you want people to understand your unique selling point. So talk about your specialism. What are you passionate about? What sector of the industry do you think you can help and support others with? your work and this is what the specialism slide is all about so that's my specialism now the next slide i talk about my work as a core member of the paul hanlon creative team 
And I've had a privilege to be a barber working in this team and working on some amazing campaigns from DNG to Gucci to Adidas to Alexandra McQueen, Versace. All of these campaigns, fashion campaigns, are huge campaigns. And I've had a chance to deliver my hairdressing skills. Now, I don't really need to put too much text in this slide. The imagery is doing all of the talking. So use imagery to your advantage and make sure you've got great imagery that tells a story. So as you start building out your own portfolio of work, make sure you put yourself and your imagery in the position to get great uh, pictures so you can use them in dossiers like this and portfolios like this. So again, you can see some of my tools, my cutting brand is called Foss. So you see that with the, again, the imagery of the call sheet with the models on there for Gucci. And these are all of the shows that I worked on in 2023. So this is again, a slide that, that it shows people not really much text here. It's just a shows of what and where I have worked uh, on. Again, getting the same style where slide with the, the, the TV and film side of my work, who I've worked with, different shows, different movies. And again, imagery is really important here. So this back image is an image inside of a trailer and the artist that I looked after as a key hair was for David Aleo. And again, you can see me and him with a picture together. And again, this backs up the story and narrative of working and transitioning from zero and, and slowly plodding on and forging out a career. Now, here we have the case study. The case study is really important because it's a case study of me, the profile guy, the work that I do. And the work that I do is coach and mentor hair professionals to be the best that they can be. So on this slide, I talk about my work. And the next uh, area I talk, there's a testimonial from tomorrow, which essentially is telling the, the audience the, the, the help that she has received from me and my coaching. So having testimonials really does help to validate that whole piece. And not only that, she was able, with my coaching, being able to work in two TV productions, The Voice, and also work on Hollyoaks as well. So really good uh, TV productions. She didn't know how to get into the area with coaching and mentoring that helped her to break into this whole new sector. And here is the testimonial from that. The other slide I talk about is my mentoring and coaching. And I've worked with Jack Gleason, who is a great wall ambassador and right now, travels all around the world. He was on one of our programs. He was able to win a competition, got a front cover of a magazine and a front cover of another magazine. And that all helps to build the profile to then get spotted by a wall. And now he's a wall ambassador. The other person which I coach and mentor is Joshua Monica from Inspire. And again, he leaves a powerful testimonial as well of, from the work and the effort of working with him and for his business. So these are really important. If you can put them, those testimonials into your portfolio really help to strengthen your case for winning that award. Now, here we to this slide, I talk about keynotes. So I've traveled the world, sharing my knowledge of profile building around the world, helping people with this particular challenge. Because once you master your profile, it's very easy to get other jobs, work in film and work in fashion and go into any sector you want to. But you have to understand branding and marketing is very important. Without it, obscurity is your enemy. And that's a real big problem. So what I do is travel the world. And this slide talks about my presentations, in Netherlands and Greece and Italy talking about this particular strategy of profile building. In this slide, we're going to talk about the case study. And I talked about the case study of um, the Gucci bus cut. Now, it was an innovative project um, in fashion where it embodied the gender fluidity and neutrality that was happening with Alexandro's um, design aesthetic. And this was when he was the creative director of Gucci. So the idea is that we went over to Gucci Hub, you can see there, and that was in Milan. And we talked and shared this idea. Paul Hanlon, the key hair, wanted to try this idea. And I had an opportunity to do once in a lifetime thing. I doubt any fashion brand's going to do this, maybe another 10 or so years. But it was a great opportunity to do this design work in someone's head. 
And with this case study, I talk about the story, the journey of testing it out first on uh, a model and doing a stencil and that didn't quite work. So we then decided to go down, uh, actually shape it into the hair, making it look like a haircut rather than sprayed it on. And that was right up my street, something I, I really do I do a, a lot of that work when I first started out. And this is the type of work it is. It's, a, it's basically the, the actual monogram of the GG logo. So with that, Alexandra, when we went over to, we did the first kind of initial idea in Milan and then we went over to Rome to do the test. And then we traveled to Bari where we did the actual show. But this whole buzz around the, the Gucci buzz cut was picked up by Vogue France and Gucci enjoyed it. This is a part of their imagery as well. And it was amazing. It was an amazing response. And the, the biggest response was from Alexandro, who basically put it on his Instagram and that got 30,000 likes. And it was just amazing to have the, the endorsement from such a huge fashion designer as well. So there you see the idea of creating the right case study, showing the right imagery, showing the journey of creating this look. And that's what I created here with that. Now, and this slide is endorsements. Again, testimonials, people that I've worked with and getting Paul Hanlon, phenomenal stylist, to actually endorse me was just amazing. So again, used Paul's endorsement in the actual slide. And also I use Kim Jones, one of my clients, and I use his endorsement to talk about the work we've done, the kind of looks we created for him for front covers of magazines, through to Vogue and all that good stuff. And that was also great for backing up and supporting the use case of being an independent stylist, working to build my own profile. Then I talked about the whole idea of working with the, the rapper Gucci Mane. And it's one of the first kind of campaigns that I worked on for Gucci. And this is the front cover of his album as well so it was amazing to have the campaign as well as the opportunity to create his hair for the cover of his album now we looked at the portfolio and with the portfolio it's telling a story of diversity as much as possible but imagery is so important so great imagery of like again models and this is a, a shoot with gucci and adidas collaboration I worked on this campaign and also my own personal projects. What's really important is to have your good personal own imagery. Again, it's great working with other projects, but doing your own collections is really important because you can craft something and you're in full control of the creative process. So this is my, one of my creative images, which was based upon the movie, The Force Awakens. So we've got like the dark side of the force and the light side of the force. This is a dark side of the force. You can see that kind of moodier, kind of uh, Jedi type feel to the actual shoot. And on this image, it's much more clean uh, cut. This is called Nexus, much more clean appeared back, uh, a white canvas polar neck on top. And that's all it is, very clean look. And, and that kind of ties in with the whole showing of the type of creative work that I'm capable of doing. Okay, because remember, I talked about the specialist of specialism being men's hair. So I just stuck to my specialism and shout about my specialist. Again, in this category, there were some amazing, phenomenal, well-known hairdressers in it. However, I was able to talk about my genuine journey, my genuine work, the collaborations, and this is what I feel was influential in the judges nominating me or granting me the win for this competition. So in the last slide is really important. In the last slide, you want to talk about your philosophy. You can see my philosophy on this slide here. Talk about your philosophy, the reasons why, your reasons why. Try leaving the judge with a last strong statement and last imagery of your work and also thanking them for looking through your dossier. Trust me, when they go through these, these competitions, there are a lot of content. And the thing that's gonna make you stand out as a stylist is your story. You generally connect him with your, the judge, your imagery, which backs up your story and also your philosophy. That my friends is my gift to you. 
Hope that has been helpful. Hope you can understand the way that you need to present your work. And if you want me to actually do a use share with you the tools that I use to create this this presentation, this portfolio, put portfolio in the comment section because I just want to know if this is something that you want me to do a video on. Okay. And the other thing that you must do is smash that like button. Again, I'm giving this training absolutely for you guys. And if you want to actually get a copy of my submission, I'm happy to give you that. So hit the, the link in the description and you can get a copy of my presentation. So you can pour over it, try to understand it, and then you can execute some of the strategies that you see in this presentation. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's your boy, Chris Foster, AKA the Profile Guy. Make sure you are liking, subscribing, and you hit that bell notification because I will be doing another video next week that will help to build your profile within the hair industry. Love, peace, and hair grease.